What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Now if you follow me on Instagram, you may have realized that I had a surprise come my way on this past Friday. And that is, I have 10 days off of work. And I actually had no idea that I had 10 days off of work. So it's kind of an interesting surprise to say the least. Now I know you are thinking, how did you not know that you had 10 days off of work? And the short answer is, I knew I have five days off of work because Andriana and I are going to New York on Christmas morning and staying up until the 30th. However, I didn't know, I thought I had to work the two days or three days leading up to Christmas, but I happened to run into my chief as I was leaving work on Friday and we were talking about our vacation holiday schedule and how everybody is getting the same nine or 10 days off. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm only getting five or six days off. And he's like, no, you're not. You're getting 10 days off as well. And I was confused. And he was like, today's your last day of work until the 31st. And I really didn't believe it, but here I am. I have all these days off until New Year's Eve. I had no idea, I wasn't even expecting it. And now I have like no idea what to do with my time. It's a really different situation than I'm usually in. So with that being said, today is Monday morning. I'm going to try to do something cool today. But first, I have to try to cop these new Yeezy 700s that just come out this morning. They come out in about 20 minutes or so. So I will first try to get these Yeezys if I can and then do something I haven't done in probably eight years or so. We'll try to do that after we do this. So stay tuned. All right, so we are in the waiting room now. It's going to refresh, 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 and hopefully we get chosen. I've never done this on the Adidas app, only on Nike, so we'll see how this goes. All right, so it is 10 o'clock now. Let's see what happens. Let's check Yeezy Supply while we're at it. I'm in the waiting room here too. So I'm in both waiting rooms and nothing is happening. All right, I'm about to be in the Yeezy Supply website as well. So for those of you who are interested in copying sneakers online at the uh, opening day or opening bell here, there are two different websites. There are actually multiple different websites. One is yeezysupply.com, one is adidas.com slash yeezy, and then Yeezy Mafia does pre-orders, but they are way too expensive. So we're trying to get these at retail, which is 200 bucks. They're supposed to be super comfortable, but they are kind of ugly, so I'm excited to see them in person. Also, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below, would you wear these shoes? The new Yeezy 700s, they're kind of ugly, but they're kind of growing on me at the same time. So we'll see what happens. They're gonna be super limited. And yeah, let's see what happens. No, so I think it got a, I, I guess I'll try to get this one. See, now it says this is sold out. This is crazy. Look, now this is saying sold out. This is unbelievable. Look, my bag is empty. That is insane. I just put a size nine in my cart and it allowed me to get it, but now it won't let me check out. It just keeps saying review and pay and it's just like sitting here pending. Come on, 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 come on. You guys see that? It's in my cart. Review billing. Also, look at these prices already for the $200 shoe. So they're already up in the 500. I wanted to size 13, it's 550. Retail for 200. That's how you can see how fast these shoes go up. It's crazy. I'm like legit disappointed here. I thought it was at least gonna hit or something, like a random size and try to resell it for my size or something, but I mean, did you see that? It just said sold out. And then when I tried to put it in my shopping bag, it just was not having any of it. So that's fantastic. All right, so I just spent about 20 minutes trying to figure out how I can swim today <laughs> because that was the thing I haven't done in like eight years. 
So I literally researched every single aquatic center in my area and all of them are closed because it's like the holiday season. It's December 23rd. They're all closed. And some of them don't even take people who aren't a member. So pretty much that was it. I obviously have today off, so I wanted to like go swimming for the first time in almost a decade, but that failed. Some of the OG subscribers or my Instagram subscribers know that I was a competitive collegiate swimmer. I swam for like 18 years of my life, but I haven't really hit the water since like 2008 or nine. I don't know why, I just, all those years of jumping in cold pools, just, I try to stay far away. But I was going to do it today, but now I have to go and just do a usual gym workout, which isn't too bad, it's just kind of a little boring. I want to do something different, but well, it's time to gym it up. So I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is probably the last video I'm doing for the year of 2019 which is crazy that this year is almost over. I started this channel a little over a year ago and 2019 seems to be the year that it started to kind of take off a little bit. We have almost 70,000 subscribers now and almost 3 million views on my channel, which is like insane. I would have never thought so many people would be interested in my life and what I'm doing and all that stuff. So I'm kind of blown away. So I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to all of my subscribers and all of the people who watch my videos. This channel would literally be nothing without you all. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You all are awesome. My goal of this channel is to provide you guys with insight into my life as an interventional radiology resident and show you that there's more to residency than just going in the hospital day in and day out. You can do things outside of work. I always keep it real on this channel because I want you all to see exactly what goes on in this doctor world. There are a lot of misconceptions and misnomers when it comes to residency and becoming a doctor and being a doctor. So hopefully this is a way to show you all what it's really like. So if you've made it this far in the video, I want you to comment below, Dr. Cellini is the best. That way I know you're a true subscriber all right, so that concludes this video. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Share my profile with your friends so maybe they can become new subscribers as well. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or want me to do a video on a specific topic. Also let me know below. You never know when I might answer. Otherwise, I'll see you in 2020 for many, many more videos.